Today, we are going to look at how you can run Android apps directly on Windows 11 without needing any third-party emulators or tools. This is new functionality available in Windows 11, and it's currently in preview, but it should soon become available to everyone. Before we get started, to watch more videos like this one, please consider pressing the subscribe button. All right, let's check this out. Running Android apps on Windows 11 is currently in preview, but if you wanna test this out right now, you can do it. It's very easy and it's also free. You simply have to join the Windows Insider program. By joining this program, you'll get to test this out and you'll also get to see all other functionality before the general public. To join the program, check out the website right up above and also down below in the description. Once you land on this site, click on the button that says register. Once you sign up for the program in Windows Update, you can opt into the beta channel. This will give you access to run Android apps. Now, if you don't wanna join this program, that's okay as well. This functionality should likely come out to everyone on Windows 11 in the next month or two. To run Android apps, first off, open up the Microsoft Store. In the search field, I'll type in an Android app. Let's go with Game of Kings. Here I see all of the results, and this one refers to mobile game. That's how I know that this is an Android app. I'll click on this result. Here I see all of the details of the game, and I also see the text that says to go to the Amazon App Store to get this. I'll click on that. To load Android apps, Microsoft relies on the Amazon App Store. It's a little bit of a janky setup, but hey, you're now able to get Android apps. This is the exact same app store that you would find on, say, an Amazon Fire tablet. During the setup process, you'll need an Amazon account. You'll also need to install the Windows subsystem for Android, which will take a little while to download. And lastly, you'll also need to restart your PC. By the end of this flow, you'll be able to install Android apps. Once you finish restarting, it'll finish installing the Windows subsystem for Android. Also, it'll then prompt you to log into the Amazon App Store. Now that you're logged into the App Store, you can see all of the different Android apps that you can install on Windows. With the preview, it's currently limited to only 50 apps, but they're adding more over time, and it should eventually have the full collection of apps that you find in the Amazon App Store. Now, you might be a little confused because we started in the Microsoft Store and now we have the Amazon App Store, so which one should you use to find Android apps? For any Android app that you want to install, you could go through the Microsoft Store. You could search for it, you could view the details, but to install the app, it'll kick you off to the Amazon App Store. So if you really just wanna find Android apps, you might as well just start with the Amazon App Store. Once you finish installing an app, you can add it to your start menu. You could pin it to your taskbar. You could snap the window. You could adjust the size of a window. Basically, it behaves just like you would expect a standard Windows app to behave. Here, if I open up Task Manager side by side with an Android game, you can start to get a sense for what the resource usage looks like. And for running a game, this looks like pretty reasonable resource usage. This has always been a pain point for Android emulators. They require substantial system resources, but having it integrated directly into Windows seems like you get some fairly decent performance. You might have also noticed that it installs something called the Windows Subsystem for Android. If you search for that name, that'll open up the settings. Here, you can see all of the different files that your Android apps save to this virtualized environment. Down below, you can also decide whether you want it to start up when you start one of your Android apps, or you could have it run continuously. So depending on how quickly you want your apps to load. If you don't have Windows 11, or maybe your PC isn't capable of running Windows 11, you can still run Android apps, and you can use an emulator to do that. Right up above, I pulled together a video of all of my favorite emulators but the one that I'd recommend above all the rest is called Bluestacks. 
The reason I like this emulator so much, it gives you access to the full Google Play Store. So if there's an app you wanna run, chances are you'll be able to find it. It's also backed by companies like Intel and AMD and others. So you can be fairly confident that you won't get any bloatware or malware by installing this emulator. All right, well that's a first look at how you can run Android apps directly on Windows 11. And in the coming months, it should become available to everyone. To watch more videos on Windows with all of the best tips and tricks, check out the playlist right up above. If you haven't already, please also consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.